Hello everyone, welcome back to the Vinity Original Sin 2. This time, this episode, we play with camera and voice, right? Commentary. It's the first episode on this playthrough. Uh, we do that this time because uh, I have time. Normally I play this game my off stream, off recording. No. Uh, let's keep going. Keep going, guys. Rubbish. Rubbish is nothing. Is rubbish, man. Bahara? Who the fuck are you? Wait, let me see. Hello. Up on the ledge before you, a lone lizard woman overlooks the marshes. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt I knew from atop her crossbow. Ooh. Ooh. Barrage. Uh, I don't know to learn Sibiru Barrage. This is so damn good. Oh man, this this one I really want. I don't care. This one is the most important. The most important. Let's continue. I need I need Stand to stand back and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister or draw one last deep breath. Oh, oh an orphanage ship by okay, yeah, I think Yeah, the hand her eyes go wide with delight recommended on your us. hand. May the goddess keep you for saving that little lion heart. Young Han told me the story of his rescue. Oh, you are most welcome indeed. Thank you. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. Thank you. That's a good thing because uh, I can make some upgrades here. Wait a second. Sibyl. You learned this. That's very, very, very good. Teleporting will be very useful for Sibyl. Adorable surrounding for an agreeable conversation, but go ahead. Okay. Let, let, let's use that dialogue. There was a small incident which prompted my many rivals to move against me. Technically, they had the letter of the law on their side. Such a nuisance, the law. Quite necessary to keep the common in line, of course, but one such as myself, it should exempt as a matter of course. Agree? 
What I meant was that, being authority, I shouldn't be under any thumb. I had thought that was perfectly obvious. Sadly, that enlightened point of view quite clearly turned out to be academic. If not, we wouldn't be having this very conversation. What the incident what that made him uh, run a fall of the law in the first place? I hardly know you as yet. Let's leave some mystery in the relationship, shall we? We can exchange criminal records Man, later. let me check... Examine. What is the... the, 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 the attitude? 27. Twenty five. Twenty five. So oh, until now, beast and funny. Pain. Sixty seven, man. Pain really loved me. The Red Prince interrupts as you're about to speak. This woman is a dreamer. I can see the answers spinning in her eyes. Do rest your legs for a bit while I question her. Okay. You're too kind. Red Prince and the Dreamer exchange courteous pleasantries, as if they're finding themselves in a palace hall instead of a death-ridden swamp. She introduces herself as Bahara. To your surprise, they next lie down on the ground in a seemingly warm embrace and fall asleep. What follows, though, is far from peaceful. They claw and thrash as if struggling for dear life, caught in the hold of some hideous nightmare. Then they what wait, the haggard, exhausted. They speak of a vision, Brahmos, and another red lizard. Asking if you're, you're, you're all right. <laughs> Praise the daylight, I am now. There was death in that dream, chasing me like a hundred hungry lions. Oh my God. But at least I've new directions. When we escape and find ourselves on the mainland once more, I must search for Brahmos the Wanderer. Then I will finally know the truth, the very secret of my soul. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I want to... Ch let me fix the gear, man. Let me fix this axe. One-handed axe. You will use that. One strength, 12 HP. And have a socket. I think... I don't know. Huh? The Spear of Black Rex I will sell. But not now. Keep it for the moment. I don't know what to do with that axe. Set stock for one turn. Only five person chance. It's yeah. Equip this one and. At worst, this the beer skin armor. Pyrokinetic. Mm, mm, mm.
Honestly, she don't need Hans. Oh, Sabil need Hansman. Yes. She man, wh why have fire damage with her? For her, her I want Hansman and Scoundrel. You don't need poison resistance. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Fine. What you have here? Four, six poison, six, seven water, ten, eleven. Please add war sand to. Ifan Water, fire, poison. Let's keep this. Okay, Seville. These daggers, I use her with a bow, I don't really need daggers. I can sell one of them. Keep two daggers just in case, you know. This, what you have here. I mean the bartering skill basically basically I need to sell with 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 beast you know let's test something uh, let's test something so for example this dagger. Let's check this dagger. You are fortunate to have found this place. Uh, marshes, swallow life this dagger. She give me one hundred seventy. You are fortunate to have found this place. Oh no wait. The hollow marshes swallow life and wait. For science, give that to beast. May you always walk in wisdom's wake. The flowers wait. strewn path of the Mardia. Still 170. I think they share. It's the same price. the same price so it doesn't really matter may you always walk in wisdom's wake the flower strewn Ask path of a to tell you more about her my name is bahara like you i am a sorcerer yeah. But unlike you, I am also a faithful servant of Amadia. Praise be her name and praise be her starlit eyes. 
Repeat the ritualistic phrase. Your chant has no meaning, for you know not of whom you speak. So let us sweep away such ill-starred ignorance and allow me to enlighten you. Okay. Amadia is the great mother. She is the goddess in whose womb magic was conceived. From whose sacred body immortal wizards were born. Gratiana, her priestess in this sanctuary, is teaching me her ways. For several years now, I've been her disciple. But she has resided here for centuries, sustained by Amadia's love. Uh, to picture anyone living in this harsh environment for years and years. I was like you once. A lost soul driven by instinct from the bowels of Fort Joy. There have been others. They tried to make it back to the mainland, but were never heard of again. I chose to stay. My home is here now. This is where I found solace, found sanctuary. I found the Great Mother and have been nurtured by her magic ever since. You mention other people. Who might they be? The guests. They call themselves seekers. They're brave people and friends to sorcerers. But you'll find them a battered band here today, brought low by bloody battle. Who attacked this man and woman? Magisters, of course. Who oh. else? The seekers came here to rescue a sorcerer from the fort. They failed. Many fell. They've heard the Shrieker's Shriek. I thank the goddess I'm not haunted by their sound. We find it remarkable that seems to be composed under such dire circumstances. Uh, tell me Have more about the Seekers. From the tales they tell of Bracchus Rex, they were living weapons, made of flesh and reared in torture. Okay. The pain they endured was so terrible their screams turned to solid lightning. Turns out the tales are true. The Magisters dug deep and returned these horrors to the surface. To know one's fate is to be fearless. I reside in Amadia's palm. I am hers to shield or hers to crush, and in that knowledge, I am content. Uh, why so many reasons did lies for one man? They knew him to be Godwoken. They sought to kindle the divinity slumbering deep within his soul. But Alexander bears no rivals. Only the son can follow the father, or so he is convinced. For him, divinity. For the others, the dungeons. It is truly harrowing to know this man seeks to be the Seven's chosen. Okay, thank As you. you wish. Uh, inquire after the Hollow March. What is this place? It is the laboratory of a lunatic. A place removed from mercy and sanity where mad Bracchus Rex would experiment to his dark heart's content. There are ruins in the marshes. Stonework vultures that perch above the king's long buried treasure. But his is not a treasure of gold, ruby, and sapphire. It is a treasure of death. Okay. Weapons and vile how, magic. how do you know all this? The nights here are long and lonely. But I often listen to my mistress Gratiana speak of days. I have Gratiana the heyday jar I think on my inventory. Perhaps she will tell you her tales as well. My knowledge is but a pond. Uh, okay. Defeat the Shriekers. Yeah, Gratiana might have information crucial to your escape. The Shriekers. With the Forging Wand. Artifact of the Tyrants. The Pigs. I need to bless the Pigs. The cursed ring, I don't know man, to, to equip the ring on the prince. Not to trust other god weapon, okay. Thank you. 
Uh, these are completed, right? Yeah. Okay, we have a lot of people here to talk with. Level up, my boys. Smoke and screams. A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps. His face a tight scowl of frustration. Here you go, here you go. Camelon cloak. I think this chicken will be very useful even for Red Prince on melee. Trophy. The seven was showed us you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes. These swings, I don't know this flying. Have a normal range or smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Man, this teleport. I want this. I don't Wish care, I want that teleport. Scoundrel, scoundrel will be very important. Every approach blocked. Oh, damn it. What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? Uh, you are a sorcerer. You are from Fort Joy. A sorcerer? Indeed. I should have realized. See the colors of the altars. Seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Uh, Verdas? Uh, yeah. You meant Verdas? Oh, then he's as good as dead. We're the Seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we failed him. You, a Godwoken? <laughs> Surely not. Though if Verdas said so, you could be important. But there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. Hmm. How are you important? How I am important? Virtus was Godwoken. He was a powerful sorcerer in the vein of Lucian the Divine. He had the potential to succeed Lucian if he mastered his powers. But now that won't happen. If you're the same as Virtus, then we have to get you away from this place. Someone's been killing the few Godwoken that are out here. Likely that dog Alexander. He's a Godwoken too. A failed one as far as I'm concerned. I can imagine he won't want any upstart Godwoken taking what he figures to be his birthright. I'm fine with that. The son will leave this place. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's, that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. The Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons called Shriekers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. 
We've lost many already. There's weapons. Ancient devices that can counter those things. Our leader, Sir Gareth, set out to find them so we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. But he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well, this island will be our grave. Uh, I look for Gareth and this weapon. You'll, you'll help us? Yes. His shoulders visibly relax, the weighty armor upon them settling with a clink. Thank you. Allies are in short supply in this place. If you help us, I promise we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. I have some questions. Please ask. Whatever helps. Ask more about Gareth. Sir Gareth? He's the finest seeker I know. I'm honored to serve as his squire. He wouldn't let us down. Not unless something's gone horribly wrong. Uh, how you learned about the soul's weapon, the shikars? The masked priestess, Gratiana, told Sir Gareth of them after she granted her shelter here. She was reluctant at first, but, well, Sir Gareth can be very insistent. <laughs> Speak to her if you wish. She may know more. Where Gareth it is? None. He set out to find those source weapons and... That's the last we saw of him. What happened if we managed to defeat the Magister? The Magister flagship, the Lady Vengeance, she's anchored at the old harbor. Once the way is clear, we're to take her and get the hell out of here. Well, that's a good plan. We came to free an elf called Verdus from uh -huh. Port Joy. He was a godwoken. He could have been the next divine. But we failed him. Okay. This he narrows his eyes, yet doesn't say anything. <laughs> uh Run with the pack by lone wolves. Roost. He was in Driftwood. Okay, run with the path. Who want us dead? Everyone. Everyone. Sibyl, basically, she had this tactical retreat. I don't know to use this on her as well. No one has control anymore, right? Points, man. I need to keep the fucking points. Geo and Pero. Get more memory for funny. I will make him a pure wizard. He's come back. Mr. Prince. More strength. 
and you need more memory as well. Looks like it doesn't matter who sell. have a lot of uh, paintings I think I don't know yeah Sir Gareth did you find any sign of him uh oh no 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 <laughs> oh, man wow the skill are, are the most important because the gear I'll find the gear from loot. Pixie dust, bone dust, wow, wow man, very expensive, everything. I want a lot of things from this guy. 932 one canister. Man, you are crazy with these prices? Are you fucking kidding me? A young man in oversized every approach he glances up. Who the blazes are you? My word, I never met a royal before. A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one though of the young man that's okay the just as have us cornered they have these weapons called shriek there's weapon but he hasn't returned if sir gareth d don't need to oh wait what am i mean get one finals for equipment and memory of course and here I, I, I think I will show something else not only summoning maybe poly or uh, I don't know necro maybe necro Hold up, I've got to take care of some business. Friend, how does life find you? Well, I'll be... If it ain't the beast of the sea. Stories of your beard alone fly across Rivalin like flocks of crows. Fair a bit more inland than you'd prefer, yeah? <laughs> ain't I know it, ain't I know it. Beast claps him on the back and chuckles heartily. Beast found a if friend. If met just a moment ago, you might think the dwarves lifelong friends. <laughs> I don't want to intrude, seeing as how you got your own trials and travails. But I don't suppose you've been to Reaper's Coast of late. Maybe heard of a fella named, uh, oh, what was it? Lohar? Lohar? Yeah, I know of the guy. From back when I was looking for fishing work out in Driftwood. He's... How shall I say? An entrepreneur. Still out there a bit. Had his stubby fingers and a lot of pies, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Sounds like a man I'd buy two flagons of meat for. One for drinking and one for toasting. I uh, got something for him. 
I'll tell him you sent your regards, Mr... Uh... It's Duggan, it is. Oh, and this here's Leia. You gotta be sick of that collar. Leia, you can get it fixed up, yeah? Show sure thing. Oh. Bet you're glad to be what rid of that it. What's that simple? Amazing to meet the beast in flesh. Let's see if we can get you back to sea. Fighting the good fight, yeah? Your lungs have got to be starved for the salt air. Beast chortles and nods, then passes you a sly wink. Such a charm bucket. Man, I got rid of all the collars. That's insane. Where are the fucking collars? That's not on my inventory. Weird. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. Uh... The seven was over us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet nice. eyes, the rest will be here. No. The codes of death. Gareth, please come back and protect your humble. Let's equip this on everyone. Oh, this is all that I have, right? Amulet. Have another amulet somewhere? No. Okay. Maybe we should fortify this place. Make us down. Uh, for my main. No, no. We don't have the time. Think, damn it. Gareth would know what to do. Then who is the best lucky shard? Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Sibyl tree. Please come back. And Red Prince Street. Uh, so the one that I have. Need to be on. <laughs> I don't know. Seville Red Prince. None of them need intelligence. Wish Bonnie Barn. Now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. Uh, Seville. The seven watch us, you're safe in bed. Smoke and screams, echoes so close of your sweet eyes. She need a ring. Rest your wee head. Gareth, please come back. She need a ring. The red prince need a warfare. Geomancer and Wits. <laughs> Geomancer, Fanny. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you Wits poison. I don't know, I'll give to the birds are asleep. Lots, eh? Moons in the sky. The seven watch or us. And this so one's a beast. So close your sweet eyes. Okay, Rest I equip all of them. Please come back. I equipped all of them. Maybe we should fortify this place. Make a stand. Amazing. No, no. We don't have the time. Oh, a broken collar. I Gareth would know what to do. I, I, I don't know if I need this these collars. Huh? No idea. Let's save. Finally, get rid of the fucking Korar. And I make nice upgrades now. Graciana. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. 
All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. Aero. Blinding radiance. Gazing bolt. The seven watch over us. You're mm. safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Teleportation, of course. Teleportation, of course. And this ring with restoration. I don't care. I don't care how much it is. I want all this. I don't have what the hell to sell. Smash of death. The birds are asleep. The sky. He's come back. But I want this. This ring with restoration and the teleportation. Armadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? Uh, you're a seeker of knowledge. It's plain that Matana told you to ask her about. Uh... Bahara is an excellent student. She still has much to learn, but that is a truth for all creatures. Tell me, what do you wish to know about our goddess? Yes, she is our mother of magic, the font from which all such power flows. Legend says that she lay with a mortal man. And their issue became the wizards of this world. So all the magic users are the descendants of the god. Some say this is merely a metaphor for the gift of magic that Armadia gave us. Others hold it as pure truth. It is not for me to judge. Perhaps it is the truth. Or perhaps it is only true of the god woken. Whatever the fact may be, the story brings me some happiness. God Walker, like Alexander. Like him in birth, perhaps, but not in spirit. The God Woken are said to be descended from the first heroes and may themselves become the divine, transcending even the gods themselves. But I am no expert in these matters. The Seekers know more. Gareth spoke of his mission to save the God Woken Verdas. You would do better to speak to him. If ever he returns. Where he is now? The fool ran into the swamps. He pestered me for aid against the Shriekers. And when I finally told him of a cache of Bracus's soul-forged weapons, he rushed away to find it. A bold move, but ill-advised. Unless he returns with weapons enough, I fear none of these Seekers will leave this they island the with weapon. air in their lungs. Uh, ask about Bracus Rex. Why did he leave weapons here? He ruled this realm as a tyrant and beast. He stole its source and left only death. On this island, he built and tested his weapons. These marshes were a playground for he and his necromancers. Many unfortunate souls were brought here. Blessed were those who died quickly or died at all. Uh... Practice sound like the kind of sorcerer you would mind. Uh, okay. Perhaps they were not so different. Both hunted source, although Bracus gathered it all unto himself. Both drained the life from this land. Indeed, the magisters. I had the Graciana jar on my inventory. First, the purging ones, and now those shriekers. If the seeker Gareth survives. I pray he will return with the weapons he needs to destroy them. Can I get direction for this secret cache of weapons? Gladly, but I fear you'll fare no better than the Seeker. North of here you'll find the ruins of Bracus's source armory. Nothing in this land can counter the Shrieker's power like those weapons. Without them, the Seekers are truly hopeless. Walk ever in Armadia's grace. 
I have it. Hello again, child. What brings you here? Uh... Well, I'd like to know about Brackus. He ruled this realm as a tyrant and beast. He stole its source and left only death. On this island, he built and tested his weapons. These marshes were a playground for he and his necromancers. Many unfortunate souls were brought here. Blessed were those who died quickly or died at all. Observe that she seemed to know a lot about Brackles. Yeah. I have been here for many years. It has given me a lot of time to reflect on the past and learn from You're it. You're hiding something. In truth, the torments of Brackus and of these magisters were not so different. Both purged source from this land. Indeed, the Magisters have even taken Brachus's worst tools. First, the Purging Ones, and now those Shriekers. If the Seeker Gareth survives, I pray he will return with the weapons he needs to destroy them. Uh, ask about Shriekers. They are the weapons that brought the Seekers so low. I have read of similar devices in books detailing Brachus's crimes. I had hoped Rivalon would never see them again. But these are dark days. Perhaps in one of Brachus's vaults, they are scattered across this isle. One cannot know which have been ransacked and which left secure. The Seeker asked me the same question, and I fear you'll fare no better than he. But on your head... Already I was on the ball. North of here you'll find the ruins of Brachus's Yeah, source. yeah, Nothing yeah. Nothing in this land can counter the Shrieker's power like those... Walk ever in our... Uh, I don't know, to give her the jar... Amidst the placid little pond, rivulets stream yeah, feel it's, uh... peaceful in her presence. Oh, soothed wait. somehow by an intangible comfort. As you gaze upon her loving face, you find yourself drawn into a trance-like state. A voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars. Its whispers caress you like a breeze. The voice grows stronger, like a breeze picking up. What were whispers become words. My children, my children. Gone are my children. Dead are they in the cradle I have ruled. Uh... Okay. A feeling of indescribable sadness assails you. It feels like your heart merges with the spirits, torn together by a coil of thorns. My child, my child, weep with me. For the mother who has lost, weep with me and bathe in the tears of Amadia. Okay, keep it on. But let her grief overcome you and weep for her children. Your tears mingle with those of the goddess down in the tranquil crystalline pond. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond now shines with an inner light, and standing in its waters, you feel rejuvenated, pure, as if born anew. And with grace, blessings oh. upon this day. Okay. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging the repairable, ditching the broken. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and splintered, the hilt twisted. Oh. Raise a bloated corpse. I think I want this as well.
Battle of Pain, that looks interesting as well. That can be good. I don't know what to buy. I think I'll buy first this uh bloated corpse and this you know I think I'll sell the spear of practice facts He holds the damaged blade up to the light. This was Halorn's blade. It was his first, it was also his last. He didn't intend to die here, but die here he did. He was an ordinary soul with an extraordinary heart, Halorn, and he died for what he believed. What did Halorn believe in? He believed in truth. He believed in hope. He believed that Alexander is a killer of God Woken. I believe that on one point at least, he was right. Big the rapier, okay. The point breaks away, leaving a jagged edge. The sword is shorter now, but it'll do more damage. Who are you? <laughs> You're just another broken soul trying to get fixed. He realizes, to his surprise, that he holds the weapon in his hand, ready for battle. He smiles to himself, tucks the weapon away, and gets back to work. Okay. your best help. more um, people here to talk I'm glad you're safe now hey Han you're alive yes I'm boy sure you would be Samadel this is the one I told you about wait oh are you oh Samadel okay wait 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 fireball man I want this as well The disheveled lizard eyes you with hope, though her hope is tinged with mistrust. Han tells me you helped him out of Fort Joy. For that, you have my thanks. You're welcome. Can I ask if... Did you happen to meet a man named Gareth on your way here? Uh... No, why? He'll be back, Samadel. I know he will. He has to. He has to, indeed. We need our leader. And if he doesn't return with help soon, we have to hope. How can I help? You're kind to offer. But you'd best talk to Gareth's squire, Exeter. He'll know where your talents can be. No, Already I did it. Let's take a look at your nasty leg injury. Catch you later, Skipper. It it's good you're here. Uh Okay, quick. Matis, let me change your dressing. Her fainer, the young yeah. woman, shoots her lower lip as she observes the injured before her. Oh my god, man. Stop fidgeting, lad. Restoration. 
Everyone need to have restoration, honestly. My Lucian locks stop fidgeting. She bends to grab a rag, wiping her blood-smeared hands. She looks up and sees you. If you're looking for healing, sorcerer, well, there's not much I can do. Uh... She shoots you an angry look. We don't abandon our brethren. As long as we draw breath, we'll keep helping each other. What kind of a man are you to say such things? Of course they do. How can you live without trust well, and companionship? Bad. They would bad guy. For me, and I would do anything for them in return. I've done all I can. Their wounds are too great. All I can offer them now is prayer and a cup of water. Uh, can I help them? If you know a way, I'd be beyond grateful. Do what you will. In an instant, my wounds have all but vanished. I, nice. I, I didn't think. I, I was certain I wouldn't. Thank you. The Magister flagship. It has Ballastay that tore our ship into kindling. A shard from our own mast pierced my side. I'm lucky the others managed to haul me all the way here. Especially after I saw what the Magisters did to those of us they captured. He shudders at the memory. They... They turned the living into shriekers. Crucified wretches that unleash pure destruction on anyone who tries to pass. Nobody survives those things. I wish I had a fitting way to thank the person who saved my life. As it is, all I can offer is, well, it's not much, but maybe you'll find some use for it. Thank you. Thank you. you his life. You have my what? thanks. Please. What? You healed me. Hey. How did you? Oh, never mind. I don't care how. I only care that today won't be my last. <laughs> I, I don't remember much. It's a dwarf as well, beast. To realize the magisters were attacking before I was injured. The last thing I saw were these things, these shriekers. Those magisters are going to pay in blood for what they did to us. If my mother were here, she'd box my ears for not being able to thank you properly. Though I reckon that wallopin from the Reds was punishment enough. Take this, at least. It'll have to do. <clears throat> Thank you. Please heal them all. Uh, and heal. And then, how do you have so much power? Someone healed me. I was bound for death, and they saved me. It's a miracle. The Magisters attacked their camp back at the harbour. I caught one of their arrows right in my side. That would have been a slow death. I've seen it before. What? He lands a comradely slap on your back. His strength has definitely returned. Don't you doubt it. This old war serpent's still got some fight left in him. Especially now that wound is healed. Nice. Uh, let's talk again with her. <laughs> the wounded will pull through. Thank the gods. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, fireball for fun, eh? Exotic scimitar. Oh, this need to be replaced. Um. Okay. The skill books. Let's put all the. No. <clears throat> Wait a second. Let's take all the skill books. I feel better. That I had. By Yushin's locks, stop fidgeting, lad. Okay. So. 
this ceiling summoning for me. My Lucian's locked. Stop fidgeting, lad. That's good. The teleportation? Wait a second. I learned the teleportation? What? Please. What? I'm alive! I'm alive! Man. Wait. Uh, where the hell is the teleportation? Skill from items. I have the teleportation from items. By Lucian's locks, stop fidgeting, lad. Sibyl need more uh, skills. The fog is lifting. More memory points. Man, I bought a book of teleportation. Where is? Are you kidding me? Oh, he's here. Uh, learn the skill, yeah. That's the most important. The most important skill. The fog is lifting. You, you're a necromancer. You can learn this. Supernova. The fog is lifting. Man, <clears throat> this supernova are doing damage to your companions as well. You need to learn polymorph. I yeah, I don't care. I learn polymorph with him. By Lucian's locks, stop fidgeting, lad. Healed. It be all. I'm healed. You need more memory. I don't know, man. The fog is lifting. More findings. Scoundrel two. I'm alive. I'm alive. My Lucian's locks. Stop fidgeting, lad. I don't know. <sighs> By Lucian's locks, stop fidgeting, lad. Hmm. The fog is lifting. I'm 
I'm alive. I'm alive. I don't have source points. Require polymorph two. I don't know. Set wings for three turns. Oh wait, I need polymorph. Polymorph daggers. Her. Uh, okay, I will remove from this then. Add something the else. Stop fidgeting, lad. The fog is lifting. Uh, I'm alive! I'm alive! My Lucian's locks stop fidgeting, lad. This. Take rain and add. Uh, Bleeding. Oh, wait. More strength on Water. on base. Please. Water. Hey, First, you need a memory. I'm healed. Second. Strength or intelligence? You need both. My Lucian's locks are so fidgeting, lad. The fog is lifting. I made a little bit mistake, but I can respect any time. Can I respect any time? I need to take all the books that I have here, not the skill books, these books, and sell. Who are you? 
The young woman twists her hands together to warm them at the campfire, fingernails bitten to the quick. Noticing your attention, she looks up at you like a startled deer. Azura flint used to enhance a weapon. Seven thousand? Diamond dust and quick. Man, are you kidding me? Sorry, I've no welcome drink or anything, but the misery here. She gestures half heartedly at the suffering of the shelter's wounded. Her lip wobbles. Big fat tears leak out of the corners of her eyes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't whoa, whoa, belong whoa. here. Uh, seriously, with that prices, no. My sisters and I make trinkets. I tagged along with the seekers for safe passage to sell them, but now, now there's nowhere for me to go. Most of my wares were lost in the attack, but I did manage to salvage some of our sorcerer sundries. Maybe you'd be interested in taking a look? My sisters and I have been working on magical, uh, already I have alchemical, a look. and downright infernal trinkets for years. Thanks to sorcerer sundries, anyone with coin can have sharper weapons, stronger armor, and shinier equipment. She clumsily proffers some paper. It slips through her fingers, but you manage to catch it mid-air. Here, our leaflet has all the details you could ever want to know. How much money you have? Oh, you have zero money. A little expensive for your budget, yes. Oh, oh, I know my wares are not cheap, but they are so very out of the ordinary. I know. But listen, my sisters and I have a little game to lighten spirits in harsh times. So, if I tell you a riddle and you can get the answer right, I'll give you a good discount. Deal? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, listen carefully now. We Google it. I stand tall in the morning. I shrink in the afternoon. Maybe we should I disappear this at midnight. But I'll be back very soon. No, no, we don't have the time. Think, Garrett. What am I? Garrett would know what to do. Uh, shadow. Did I say it too fast? I stand tall in the morning, I shrink in the afternoon, I disappear at midnight, but I'll be back very soon. It's, a, sh I? it's a shadow, man. Oh, yes! You are the first one to ever get it right. Are you right. kidding me? No kidding. A kidding. You get a prime discount on our sorcerer sundries. Where uh, the rest of your sisters are? You'll find Demira in Driftwood and Donna in Arx. Dagmar, well, I don't quite know where she's got herself perched these days. Maybe you'll get to meet all of them on your travels. If you do see them. Her brow furrows as she looks around the shelter. When she looks back at you, her eyes are glassy and devoid of hope. Just Tell them I'm safe. No matter what happens. How much discount I have now? Six thousand, man, one thousand discount. That's a lot of discount, but still impossible for me for uh... Goodbye, then, mister. Goodbye, my dear. Hey, bro. Sir Gareth, did you find any sign of him? No. Uh, you know what? 
I want to sell you. What? Consign quest items? Let me take all the books here. Honestly, I don't need. Oh my god, man. After you read this, you can sell it. Still heavy, 0 0.5 each of them. crazy to collect all these books oh my gosh man many I have Double check quest items. No quest item. Now I can sell. Bro. Sir Gareth, did you find any sign of him? No. Smoke and scream are echoes of death. That's a lot. I want to see my inventory now. Look at that man, 34 now. <coughs> a restoration ring. Uh, He don't need restoration, basically, because he did get damage from restoration. He have. I'll give to her. Wait, 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 Constitution 28 HP and restoration. That's a 
insane for him. Still have money. Echoes of death. Maybe we should fortify this place. Make a stand. Uh, Prince. Uh, no, no, we don't have the time. Think, damn it. Gareth would know what to do. More strength, bro. More strength. At two points on. Uh, Man, you know what? I think I will respect. I will respect Beast. I will make him full int. But I need another melee. Except the Red Prince, and I don't have another melee. Or I'll make him full melee. The problem with him is... I don't know. He's, he's good at... Nothing. Wish Bonnie Barn, now though you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. Smoke and scream. The seven watch o'er us, we are safe death. in bed. So no. close your sweet eyes, Please rest come back. your head. Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry? Hmm. The birds are asleep. That's good. Sky. The seven watch o'er us. You're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes. Not bad. Rest your weak head. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. I need more spells. How the hell to sort the letter that I have now here, man? Are you kidding me? These bad backpacks don't have auto sort. Fuck that. That really sucks. Items, what I have. I have some runes. 
You know, I can add runes because I can uh, extract runes. Right? Bill, this man, fuck these bags. What's a big mistake, man? I need to remove this pyrokinetic from Seville. Uh, critical chance, that's what I want. Fortify this place. Make a stand. No, no, we don't have the time. Think, damn it. Gareth would know what to do. Air resistance, earth resistance. The birds are asleep, hmm. the moon's in the sky. Let's get fire. Seven watch over us, we're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Who have these globes? Oh, it's the bear. Five percent. Earth resistance, better than nothing. Too funny. Smoking screens. Wish Bonnie Bard, now do you cry? Gareth. The birds are asleep, the moon is in the sky. The seven watch over us, we are safe in bed. Mm, yeah, bonus intelligence. She don't have. I need to remove this pyro from her. Anyway, we continue next time. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This first episode where I use the cam and talking. Most of the episode no commentary. Most of them will be with no commentary. Anyway, hope you enjoy the content. Like, subscribe. If you enjoy the content, comment below what secrets you found in Divinity Originals into this amazing game. And see you next time. Yeah. Bye.